Okay, let's talk about what you can do in the summertime or those uh, breaks between uh, math courses. So let's say you finished a math course this year, but you're not going to be starting one in a couple, two, three months. What can you do between that time? Well, there's a lot of things you can do with your time, but we want you to be smart. I want you to be smart. And uh, you want to really start getting ready for math next year, even before it's time. And I'm gonna explain why here in a second. So this would just be a quick uh, video just to encourage you um, to really you know, start studying math early. But I'm gonna get into specific reasons why here in just one second. But uh, first, let me quickly introduce myself. My name is John, I'm the founder of Tablet Class Math. I'm also a middle and high school math teacher. I'm gonna leave a link to my uh, math help program in the description of this video. But uh, basically, if you've been struggling for years in math, or if you got this math anxiety, or if you wanna get ahead and you just don't feel like you have enough uh, kind of the instruction at school, or whatever the case might be, I can help you excel. I can help you either get through your uh, difficult math challenges, or I can help you go faster in math. So if you're at the middle school, high school, or even college level, in terms of mathematics, I could definitely, definitely uh, assist you in your math goals. Now, if you're going to be taking any test that has math on it, uh, things on it like the GED, SAT, ACT, ASVAB, uh, GRE, GMAT, ACUPLACER, uh, CLEP exam, ALEX exam, teacher certification exam, nursing school entrance exam, I can go on and on. All these exams and many others have a significant math portion on those tests. If you don't get the math uh, part of that exam, you're not going to pass those exams, so I can help you out. Uh, with uh, these particular exams. If you homeschool, you absolutely must check out my homeschool math program. I've been, work, I've been working with homeschoolers for uh, many, many years successfully. I think you'll love what I have to offer. And if you don't have any math notes, don't panic. I got some uh, notes uh, you can use. I'm going to leave links to my math notes in the description of this video, but I'm just telling you right now, I've been teaching math for decades. If you want um, great math grades, you must take great math notes. I've seen this trend through the years. So if you just follow me on that, you'll already be a lot smarter in math than most other students. Okay, so let's get into this. Uh, I want to encourage you to um, really take advantage of the time you have between math courses. So I know that a lot of you out there finished up a school year, and I'm speaking to those of you that have been uh, in school for the last year or semester, whatever the case is, Hey, you know what? I was in school for many years. I know what it's like to go to high school, college, you know, master's degree and have a lot going on in my life. And, you know, we want a break. We want a mental break. And I get that. OK, but here's the thing, right? Um, when you take a break, what happens in terms of your math skills? OK, now this is for those of you that are anticipating or already scheduled to take a uh, math class in the fall, or maybe it's in August. Okay, so but you're you got a break in between math classes. Well, here's what's going to end up happening: if you don't do any math over the summertime, okay, your skills, your skills will go down. Okay, your skills will go down. You'll forget stuff. It's only natural, right? Um, you know, and I'm, you know, I'm just not I'm picking on any of you out there. But it's like anything. You know, if you stop doing something, you start, you know. Uh, you know, getting away from the material, you're going to forget and your skills are going to go down. All right. The second thing is, um, what else happens? Well, not only do your skills go down, also your confidence can kind of go down as well. All right. So you're here. Let me go ahead and abbreviate that a little bit better. Your confidence. Now, what am I talking about there? Well, what happens if what, let, um, let's say you just finished your math class and you only got like, let's say a C plus or a B. OK, you're probably already concerned uh, about next year's math because your next this coming up uh, math course you're going to be taking is going to be more challenging. OK, so you're already probably, you know, uh, not as confident or not looking forward to taking that math class. So these are two things here you got to be thinking about. Right. Listen, what's going to happen to your confidence if you don't if you start losing the skills that you had to get you a C plus or a B? Well, you're going to be starting your next math course with a, a disadvantage. I'm here to tell you uh, kind of the truth. And the reality is this. If you haven't done well uh, in your last math class, unless you do something about your, your skill sets, uh, you're going to end up continuing to struggle or you can quickly fall behind when you take your next math course. Now, you might be a parent watching this and you might be uh, interested 
and and this in terms of uh, how you can use the summer uh, to help your child prepare for, let's say, if they're scheduled to take geometry or algebra two, like what can you do? Well, I'm glad that you're watching this video because I want to really stress this that, hey, do not listen to your child. Your child will be like, I don't need to do any of this stuff. I'm fine. <laughs> well, I'm here to tell you it's, there, there's a lot of benefits okay, to take advantage of the summer. Now, what can you do? What should you do? Well, I'm going to encourage you to do the following, all right? You should do some light review of what you learned, okay? Your previous math course. Now, what is? how can you review the stuff that you learned? Well, hopefully you took great notes, okay? If you took great notes in your last math class, do not throw your notes away. Now, unfortunately, uh, if you're watching this video and you're already you know, finished your math class. I, I remember in college, people would literally take their like calculus books and throw them in the garbage can. It was a big celebration. Oh, they were done. They'll never have to take that, of course, again. Of course, that book was, uh, I wasn't too smart of those guys, <laughs> those students because calculus books and books in college are very, very expensive. But I used to see that. I was like, oh, that's crazy. People just throw that stuff away. They never want to see it again. So you don't want to be that person unless you're completely done with math forever and ever. Don't throw away your material. So this, you know, coming up school year, you know, have your material organized, neat. Take great math notes. Have all that stuff organized because that's going to help you prepare for your next math class. So you should do some light review. A good way to do that, again, is uh, your notes. Okay. Now, another way you can review is to uh, go on to, you know, like say uh, YouTube, for example, is a great platform and watch various uh, videos on that particular topic. So let's say you, you um, uh, studied algebra last year, just pull up algebra videos, just various different types of topics, random stuff. I'm kind of keeping it kind of informal for most of you out there, okay? But just do some light review, keep engaged, do uh, some equation problems, do some uh, graphing line problems, or maybe some quadratic equation problems, or whatever, the ratio and proportion, some geometry. Just keep engaged with the material, okay? Now, for those of you that uh, really had some issues and your confidence is uh, low, okay, because, you know, you, you didn't do too well, right, and you're concerned, well, then I'm going to encourage you to do a couple of uh, uh, additional things. Matter of fact, instead of doing a review, you may want to consider one of the uh, two things, okay? And it's really going to be up to you, uh, and it's going to be kind of a case-by-case -case basis. But two things that you should consider would be the following. One, uh, the first thing is if you did pass this math class, let's say you took algebra, but you barely passed it, well, I would consider maybe like doing like my algebra course uh, over the summer. Now, you can't complete the entire course because it's a lot of material. It takes eight to ten months uh, to complete the entire algebra course, but you need to get into a little bit more of a formal instruction. Okay. Like you need a more of a formal, uh, redo, not just a light review, not like a cursory review to kind of keep your skills up. This right here, what I'm talking about is for those of you that have done pretty well, um, in your last math class, you just don't want to let your skills perish. Okay. You don't want to let them kind of diminish. So this is just to kind of keep your skill level up. Okay. But for those of you that are really struggled, I think you really kind of need to put yourself through a kind of summer school. All right. So you can, um, uh, I would recommend relearning in a more formal way what you didn't really quite understand. That's probably my best recommendation for you. But then there's another route you can go as well. Um, as you're uh, reviewing, okay, what you uh, struggle to um, learn, okay, completely, you can also get a jump start on uh, this coming up year's um, uh, math course. So let's say you finished algebra, but you're going to be taking geometry. Well, another good thing you could do is do some review on your algebra. Okay, that that I think is uh, critical. Now, how much review is going to be dependent upon how uh, but you need you, you how much you need to review. Okay, you know, only you know the answer to that. Use your grades and just be honest with yourself. But uh, for those of you out there, all of you out there, whether you've done uh, great in your last math class or or you didn't do so great, start trying to learn the material ahead. So for example, if you're going into geometry, you can go into like my geometry course and start learning the first one or two three chapters of geometry. That's going to really really give you momentum when you start. Uh, your math class. Okay. Now, now I'm going to show you right here 
remember I'm a math teacher with uh, decades worth of experience, and I'm going to tell you how it goes. All right, I'm going to show you what you already know, but here is, let's call this September, and let's call this June. This is typically um, a typical academic school year. Where is the easiest uh, stuff in this course? Let's call this, let's just call this algebra. Okay, it could be any math course. But where's the easiest material at? It's right here, okay? So if I said, where is the, it's the, where, what part of this course is it the easiest to get A's and 100% and A's on your test? It's right here, okay? This is the easiest part of the math, uh, math course. What's the second easiest part? It's this part, okay? This is the second easiest part. This is the third easiest part, and this is the hardest part of the course to try to um, really build up some capital in terms of your grade or your points. So even if you got like, let's say an A right here, a B in your second quarter, and a C right there, and a D right here, you're still going to pass this uh, math class, okay? Because you did very well in the first half of this math course. What you don't wanna do, okay, and this happens, this can be you if you get momentum going early on. Now, you don't want to end up with these C's and D's here, but I'm just saying that this is, I've seen this pattern throughout many years where students kind of, you know, for whatever reason, start falling behind. But because they've done so well in the beginning part of the course, they were able to get through. But here is the worst case, okay? If you start getting D's and C minuses at the beginning of the course, now already you're significantly behind because this material is harder and you need this stuff to understand this stuff. Okay, this, this is where uh, it becomes a real struggle for students. Then they end up with courses like this and then you're going to summer school, okay, or other bad things, you know, uh, can happen. You can either, you know, go to summer school, uh, repeat the course, or end up with just a C, okay, and that can have a real impact on your GPA. So you want to go in to your math course with momentum. And the best way to do that is to start learning during the summer. So you wanna be smart with this stuff, okay? And uh, whatever you do, you should be somewhat engaged in math, okay? Nobody, even if you got an A plus, if you got an A plus and you totally, uh, let's say for example, uh, don't need to review algebra, then start getting ahead in geometry. It's gonna make your life a lot easier, but you want to take advantage of the summer, okay? And right now I'm posting this video, it's June of 2022, you still got a lot of time. Most of you out there probably aren't gonna be starting school for another you know, two months or so. That's a lot of time to do something with, okay? So take advantage, all right? There's nothing more precious than time. That is the number one most valuable resource on planet Earth. Okay, so hopefully this video was useful, and if you liked it to some small degree, and you may not, you know, some of you out there are like, I'm not going to hit the like button because you're telling me to do math during my summer break. Well, listen, I'm ultimately trying to help you. So if you at least get that part, go ahead and hit that uh, like button. And if you're new to my YouTube channel, hopefully you'll consider subscribing. I have a ton of stuff on my channel that can help you review. Um, so uh, again, that's you know free material, but my best material will be within my Math Help program. Okay, so with that being said, I definitely wish you all the best uh, in all your mathematics adventures and have a great summer, but be smart, throw a little math in there so you can be ready for next school year. All right, with that being said, have a great day.